Hello and welcome to Afri's Concept TV, where we give you the latest news, gist and gossips. To all our subscribers and listeners, thank you for always tuning in to listen to us. And if you are just joining us, we say welcome to Afri's Concept TV, where you get the latest news, gist and updates. Kindly click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also turn on your notification post to be the first person to get a notification when we upload them. And now to the news of today. The headline. Abuja court orders permanent forfeiture of 20 properties linked to XPRTT chairman over 2 billion naira pension fraud. And now to the main news. The federal high court sitting in Abuja has ordered the final forfeiture of at least 20 properties linked to the convicted former chairman of the defunct Pension Reform Task Team, PRTT, Abdul Rashid Maina. Justice Choice Abdul Malik, in a judgment delivered on Friday, held that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, proved its case beyond reasonable doubt that the property located in different parts of the country were acquired illegally. According to Justice Abdul Malik, the applicant effectively discharged its responsibility under the law to establish that the property were acquired with proceeds of crime. The judge also heard that the various individuals who responded to an earlier interim for future order requiring interested parties to show cause why the properties should not be permanently forfeited, fail to establish their ownership of the affected properties with credible evidence. Out of the 23 properties listed in the schedule, three of them were left out, which include flat 42C, SMC quarters, Ungowan Dasa Kaduna, plot 18 Road F on TPO 462, B C of O K D five four six nine and plot of C of O B O four two six beacon B five O eight six B five O eight seven B five one O five B five one O four B five zero nine nine cadastral zone B O five Utako. It was reported that Mayna's wife Leila, who claimed to be a citizen of the United States, and some of his relatives and associates, including Uwani Usman, Alaji Aminu Yakubu Bambai, Haruna Mwazu Musa, and Ali Abdullahi, have claimed ownership of the 23 property. The anti graft agency had earlier obtained the order of interim for future of 23 property linked to MENA, currently on 88 jail term from pension fraud to the tune of 2 billion naira. Delivering the judgment on Thursday, Justice Abdul Malik agreed with lawyer to the ESCC, Farouk Abdullah, that those who claim to own the property failed to effectively establish their alleged ownership by producing credible evidence. She said, It is trite in law that civil cases in non conviction for future are hinged on the preponderance of evidence. Again, I hold that the respondents have failed woefully in tilting the scale of evidential weights in their favor. In all, secrets to the facts and documentary, detailed evidence relied on by the applicant, the ESCC. In support of this application for final forfeiture, I do hold that the evidential burden of proof indeed shifted to the claimant to establish by way of cogent documentary evidence the sequential trail of the genesis of their finances leading to build up as well as the acquisition of the aforementioned properties subject of interim forfeiture. In view of this grave omission on the part of the claimant, Mena, his wife and his associates, to show good and credible cause on the history of their legitimate earnings, I hereby find merit in applicant's application for final forfeiture of properties Numbers 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, and 23 set out in Schedule 1 
attached order of interim for future safe properties number 3, 14, and 20. I so order. The affected properties are located in Abuja, Nasarawa State, Kaduna State, and Kano State. They include plot 965, Guaripawan District, Cadastral Zone, duplex located at number 16A Katoro Road, Kaduna, 52B SMC Quarters, Nguan Dosa, Lot 016, comprising of three bedroom detached bungalow. Property at Tola Street, Badarawa, Kaduna, comprising of three bedrooms and an undeveloped land. Plot Y12, Kano Street, Kawo New Extension, Kaduna, a duplex located at number 2152 Crescent, Kuba Face 4 Estate, House 8211 Road, a closed numbered three bedroom bungalow. A farm at Dorowa, Karashi Development Area, Karo Local Government Area, Natural State. Another farm at Dorowa, Karashi Development Area, Karo Local Government Area, Natural State. Plot 3A, Sambo Road, Ungua, Rimi, covered by C of O, number KD15452. Plot MF27A, New Pacific Layout, Koje Abuja. Plot 1B, Ajayi Road, Ungua, Rimi, covered by C of O. Number NC24059, Block 23, Flat 2, located at Life Camp, 2 bedroom semi detached. Property at number 62, AC Maternity Road, Damatro Road, BIU. Block 3A, Sambo Road, Unguari, Mikova by C of O, KD1542, comprising of uncomplicated buildings. Plot covered of, by C of O, B426, Beacon. At Cadastral Zone B05 Otako, number 16 Dabai Road off Mangoro Road, Shokoto State, number 13 Korea Road, Nasarawa District, Kano, Plot 965 Cadastral Zone C02 Guari Ba FCT Abuja. Look at all these things that this man has acquired with stolen pension funds. People's money, people's hard earned money, the money that they worked for. Their pensions, look at what you have built with it. God, look at the, to the tune of 2 billion naira, people's money, and you stole it to acquire properties for yourself. Properties that you will live in this world and go away, and you wouldn't even know how your properties are being shared. I like the judgment that has been given to him. I like that they forfeited it. God, you build houses. But they love to kill their fellow human beings with frustration and hungers. Imagine what that two billion naira would have done in this country is economy. The houses he built. How many houses can he live in at a time? You can only live in one house at a time. And you have all those houses and people are out there with no accommodation, with no food to eat, with no water to drink. So people are just wicked, very wicked. Once they are in power, they forget about every other person and only think about themselves. My listeners, what do you think? Kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section and do not forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our.